All right, send in the posse. I want to introduce the new kids. Pip's posse, front and center. For the love of God. And hurry your asses up. All right, where's their music? We got to get something done with the instant replay here where we're up and ready to go and knowing what we're doing. All right, here's the new interns first. Let's talk about the, let's talk to the intern uh, who, Hicks, had us fight for, with HR for how long? Oh, easily a month of just like constant emails and just going back, back and forth. And then they got very, very angry with him at one point. Yeah. And then finally, we had to pull in one of the big guns, Rob Cross. Chuck yep. Roast. Had to make his uh, move. What did you call him? Chuck Roast. God, what a ball buster. He's all, that's day. his first thing to take a shot at the PD. First thing. What exactly did you... Uh, by the way, what's your on there name going to be? Uh, my name's Shelby. I mean, whatever you want. Oh, I think Shelby's fine. Sounds great. Sincerely. Uh, Shelby, what exactly happened with you that caused so much problems? Like they said, they told me I did stand up, so they sent it to the comedy channel. And then, like, I was like, well, I'm just going to be sitting on my ass. I mean, they just, like, play comedy bits. I mean, what are you really going to do there? And you can laugh along or just break in every once in a while and go, that one crushed. Good job, Gaffigan. And here's some Brian Regan. So you didn't want to work for the, for the Raw Dog, I guess they were sending you, right? Like, I'm sure they're good people, and I. Like, just it was a mix-up with HR, you know. Right. Corporate America red tape. Okay, so, and you you, you moved in from somewhere, right, Shelby? Yeah, You're Pittsburgh. from where? You're a Pittsburgh boy. Are you a sports guy at all? Are you a Pirates guy? Uh, I have kind of lived all over. I used to live in St. Louis. So I'm a Cards guy myself. Oh, God. What? I just can't take that we're the nicest fucking fans gimmick that they do. It disgusts me. We're really good fans. If someone hits a home run off of us, we, we clap. They appreciate the game, you know? Uh, yeah, they tell us that. They're the fucking Canadians of baseball. I just don't like when people tell you that they're good. Leave our uh, batteries at home. I uh, yeah, I like to chuck a battery every once in a while, even at our own team. Now, uh, so you've decided, I want to break into comedy, so you went straight to Pittsburgh. Follow the Dennis Miller route. <laughs> then you went, so you, you're staying where this summer? Uh, Flushing. All right, yeah. Queens boy. Maybe you and Hicks can uh, grab the train together. Good. Messed up on that. Fletching's way out there, though, right? Yeah, it's 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 a pain in the ass to get out there. To be honest, you know the old stand up heck bit with that, right? What's that? Uh, you ever heard of uh, Flushing Queens? Sounds like a good idea. Then take a step back from the mic, listen to the fucking applause and laughter, and just curtsy. I'm gonna try that one. Yeah, it'll it, it killed ninety years ago. Why wouldn't it work today? All right, so Rob Cross came in, went to battle for you. Got you here with us. Yep. Now, I thought that you were going to come in with a lot of energy. I thought that was going to be your thing. You come from a different direction, fear-based. Really? It's being done on this show, but I still like it. I think something... I mean, you've got the deer in the, in the, in the headlights look about you. Okay. Uh, how is your stand-up, though? Strong? I, I feel it is, yeah. How long have you been doing it? About six years. Six years. Whoa. Okay, it's time to start. Off and on, you know. Oh, right. off and on. Yeah. But ever been a road dog? I uh, opened for a guy who's opened for Neil Hamburger, so I guess you could say I'm doing pretty good. Okay, that, so that things aspect. are happening. Yeah. All right, so you got that going on, but you've never been out on the road. No. Never made a living from comedy. Open six years open mic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what is it that you're going to bring to the show, Shelby? I'm a. I like to think of myself jack of all trades. And well, you know, whatever you need from me. Okay, I love Step the. I, I love where box. he's going here. Okay, utility, utility player. Okay, Just plug him in anywhere. All I'm right. Crush. Okay, I like the idea. of This whatever comes up, I'm there for you. What pass you me need? the rock here? I, yeah, I like it. I see. I honestly see you doing a lot of sandwich runs, Shelby. Nice. I see. Like you're going to be that guy. You like sandwiches, right? <laughs> Who doesn't? Yeah, who doesn't? You don't run into people who say, no, I don't like a sandwich. Matter of fact, if I did meet somebody who said I don't like a sandwich, I'd probably kill him. Because even a vegan will eat a sandwich. No one blame you. Yeah, and I think I would um, be able to go into court, show off the bread, mm. 
lunch meat, yeah. or veggies because vegans eat sandwiches, Hicks. Nasty, though. They call it a... Uh, all right, hold on. Here's Lady Trucker for you. Now, this is already going to be a problem because she's a ball buster. Lady Trucker, you're on with Shelby, the new intern. Yes, I'd like to suggest that Shelby be called Helium Boy on here. All right, get off his dick. Jesus. Uh, Doug, you're on the Run of Fest show. Oh, my God. Ronnie, love you guys. But Thanks. Shelby, uh, oh, please, let me. I, I want to stab myself in the ear with an ice pick. Okay? You know what? This is because it's a new voice. That's well, where it is. No, he's from Pittsburgh. He has no Pittsburgh accent. I wasn't I mean, born on, there. dude. He de- yeah, he's, he only moved to Pittsburgh to get out of St. Louis. And Portland before that. I've lived all over. Well, uh, at some fucking point, you're starting to sound like a hobo, though, Shelby. I feel like it. Yeah. Right, trains. <laughs> well, it's time for Shelby to get back on the road again. Do you know the secret hobo code? <laughs> He's got signs. <laughs> There's signs that he'll see etched in on the end of town. Oh, it's safe at this house. <laughs> they'll feed me and not just shoot me in the head. Um... Here is uh, Craig. Craig, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Ronnie B. Hey, uh, I know for sure now that Fez is not gay because he has fathered uh, an illegitimate son by the name of Shelby. Sounds has like Fez taken him. any interest in you yet, Shelby? Uh, not not from my uh, knowledge. Not from really. my... He stayed a little aloof. Yeah. All right, so you're going to get that. That's going to happen until one day he'll then explode on you, and there'll be some small thing, some small transgression. Screaming match. Yeah, and it'll turn into a, an awful screaming match. Hicks, how are you feeling about Shelby? Because i got to tell you the truth, the difference between me and some of these callers, I like the voice. It's distinct. Yeah, that's it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'll put on a radio voice. You don't have to put on... All right, let me hear your radio voice, just so I... What yeah. do you want? What, what, what you think would be a perfect radio voice? Hey, uh, thank you on the Ron and Fez show. Okay, I like uh, that more. Blah, yeah, blah, let's blah, go blah. with that. Yeah. I do like that one now. I like that one now. It's strong, Shelby. Um, here's uh, Dustin. You're on the Ron and Fez show. Whoops. Go ahead, Dustin. Hey, uh, I just wanted to ask Shelby, does uh, he represent the Lollipop Guild? The Lollipop Guild? Don't listen to the it's going Guild. good so yeah. far. No, you know why I came in the radio the same way? Because I did not have a fake Chris Stanley radio voice Chris Stanley radio? trained by the Columbia School of Broadcasting. Hey, everybody, it's Chris Stanley with you. Esau Dave's coming up next. <laughs> Um, here's Frank. Frank, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, everybody. Yeah. Hey, uh, Shelby is, is in turn of the year because of the voice. He's a winner. He's heard all that bullshit from those other losers before. Hey, yeah, you take year. some of the shit on the voice on stage? Uh, no, not really. Mm. No. Because you have those heckler lines. You'll just fucking bury those guys that they start on you, right? Snipe them. Yeah, take them down a fucking peg. Drop yeah. the hammer, yeah. Shelby. Yeah. There's a, there's the chief sniper over there, Shelby. You and him might want to do notes together. Back your hell explode before you even know it. <laughs> I dig Shelby's hair too. It's kind of a modified fucking flat top going. It's the greatest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, Fun so hard for this kid. Put some product in it, you know. I love I love I love effort. You know, put some pride in how you look. I don't know. I love what you say. Pride in how you look. Um, Dean, you're on the Run of Fez show. Shelby related to primetime Sam Roberts. Uh, you're familiar with Sam. If Sam had sex, and he's going to one day, now that he's married, you could... Uh... All right, this is a very good sign I'm seeing here. Liz sets fire. Shelby fan. That's big, Shelby. I nice. don't yeah. realize that. She picks all the uh, playlists. She picked out the playlist today. Um, Bill in Boston, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Ron, you know me. I like to look at pictures of girl interns and jack to them. But I just need to see a picture of where this fucking voice is coming from. It's killing me. <laughs> okay. All right, so you're picking up some bisexual fans. Um, it's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to happen. It's all part of it. John Travolta went out of his way to never, you know, put down his gay fans. And it's worked out for him. He's a big star. Uh, John, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, I just want to remind Fez that he is not allowed to fuck the interns. Um, 
I don't think we have to worry about that. I have Be- not fucked one yet. That is true. That is true. Or anyone at this point, right, Buzz? <laughs> no, no one at this point. No, you not yet. You may want to sit over here with the interns. Are either one of you guys virgins? No. No, of course not. Okay. Well, it. Your co-hostess. So. Oh. All right. Here's Kevin. You're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Ron, I'd like to welcome your new intern, Squiggy, there, and ask him how Laverne and Shirley are doing. All right, that's a really old reference, well before you were born. Do you know who Squiggy is, though? Um, not what the fuck he's talking about. Right, Whoa. okay, I like it, you work in blue. Dropping that F-bomb. Uh, Charlie, <laughs> you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, Shelby, you there? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, repeat after me. Hide me, Rick. Save me. You must hide me, Rick. All right, this is Casablanca from, I believe, 1942. We might want to look that one up. Rick! Rick! Cigars and Scott should be able to help us out. Cigars. Hey, I bet you this kid Shelby has a huge carbon footprint. (laughs) Why is that? (laughs) It ain't easy being green. All right, so now they're going with the Kermit deal. All right, Shelby, I know this might feel like a bad... uh, start, but they're going to remember you. They're right. going, and that's all that matters. Sounds good. Yeah, he yeah. needs a little more energy. Though. These I mean, windows open like on the. No, don't, okay. don't jump. What? Believe me, Jesus. every intern's been through it. Not so soon, at least. Just for future. You want some Red Bull? I love it. You know, I remember when Pips intern. I forgot one day he made a mistake, and Hicks was mad at him, and he was really depressed. Yeah. And I've never seen him get in trouble since then. Well, uh, I have a firm hand. Oh. <laughs> no, not gay or anything. I'm not oh, like that. Seems like it was very good. <laughs> By the way, Fez is still looking for pictures of his brother all this time. It's like he's disappeared off the internet. Well, you're still trying to get on Ask Jeeves. It's a big problem with him. <laughs> Come on, dog. Facebook it. Where's Clippy to help me? Um, here's uh, Matt. Matt, you're on the Ron and Fez show. <laughs> Scott, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, uh, I just want to tell Shelby, I thought he was fantastic in Papillon and Midnight Cowboy. So they're doing it. Yeah. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Who's a bigger uh, star than Dustin Hoffman, though? Nobody. Chris, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Uh, I'm sure y'all don't get many Andy Griffin, uh, the Mayberry Show references, but this guy is spot on. He's about just like Cousin Virgil. Um, you don't you. get him for that reason. They're not really <laughs> that funny. Ooh. Oh, shit, son. It's I like it. Going down. You know what? You're a fucking insult comic. That's your thing. Shots okay? Rising. Yeah. Roasting it. You go out, you work the room, you take people down a fucking piece. Later, you do shots with them and mingle. And everyone <laughs> says, up. you know what? I thought you were a dick. You ended up being a fun guy. All right. I'm coming. I'm walking across town today. Big star. I believe a big star. Yeah. Doing a cool down. Uh, listening to music. A little bit sweaty. It's 20 questions. Fez, you get first question. Is the celebrity a man? It is. Is the celebrity on Arrested Development? No. That's two down in the 20 questions. We go over to Shelby. Remember, this is someone I saw on the street, a man. And uh, I'm going to give a little hint. I think pretty far from where they live in town. So this was a nice run. The sweat was a tip-off, plus I happen to know what part of town they live in. Uh, Jewish. Boy, that's a tough one. I'm going to guess yes, but... We're in New York. Yeah, I'm not sure. Played the odds. Over 40. Yes. Uh, And movies. Has done movies. Yes. Is Is this person primarily a musician? No. That's six down. Shelby. Are they award winning? I don't know. I would say there might be some awards there, though. You can call me off guard with the award winning question. Yeah, just ignore Shelby. I can see that's happening right away. A lister. Oh. Not A lister in movies, but in, their, in this person's field, I don't think that you could go any further. Further, I mean, just gigantic career. 
Have they done stage work as well? That I don't know. I'm going to say no, though. I have a guess. Yeah. James Gandolfini. No. Running? <laughs> oh, oh, shit! Bob fucking, Bob fucking dropped your ass! Bob fucking dropped your ass! You got dropped! Please. You know what? You might be out of the game no, right I'm now. I'm in the game. When an intern on their first day hits you right between the eyes and knocks you down... Give me a break. And all you can do is get up and throw up? <laughs> I ain't vomiting any time soon. Oh, you didn't? No. What do I smell in here? Something's awful. Shelby, back to you after that stupid James Gandolfini bit. I think it was him still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, comedian. Yeah, I'd say comedian. Okay. TV? Yes, TV. Oh. De- Does this man do any singing? Not primarily known for singing, but, you know, I'm sure there's a voice there. Seinfeld. No. Jesus. Ah. Uh... Not Jesus. I'd really be going crazy then if I saw Jesus. Was Jewish. But Jesus is still Jewish. Oh, hey, convert. He started his own thing. Uh, they relevant now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, still big. Are they part of a family lineage? A father or a mother that is also in the business? Mm, not that I know of. Do you know if they're married to someone famous or were married to someone famous? They were married to someone famous. We're way past 20 questions, by the way. Jimmy Fallon. No, but I like the fact that you just go for it. Yeah, You're well, not going to fuck around. I, I got enough here. yell I, out everything that you know. Um, so it's not that, all right. No. Oh. John Stamos. No, 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 no. Nice try, though. Damn it. Are we, asking, are we guessing or questioning? You do whatever you want. Either. Pay attention, Pa. There's Please. nothing to pay attention. You two are just fucking yelling out names. I think I had it. <laughs> right, Gandolfini obviously was wrong. Because he's not Jewish. He's Italian. You, I guess you could mistake him for being Jewish. I think I'm just going to turn it over and I'm going to start giving clues now. Okay. All right. Uh, on a long-running television show. That could be one of a million people on a long-running television show. That's why it's show. a tip. <laughs> that's, that's not really a tip. Uh, was the show recent? Yes, still on. Uh, Fez, would you rather ask a question or get a tip? I'd rather get a tip. Do not be confused by the New York thing. Oh, okay. By Coastal. Larry David. <laughs> why are we fucking forgetting <laughs> Fez? <laughs> And remember, I gave out ripped. <laughs> Is it Mark Harmon? No. All right. X. Voiceover work. Oh my God. The Rock. <laughs> the Rock <laughs> is in a long-running TV show doing Rock? voiceover. No, no, is it a shows. network? It's TV show. A cartoon show. Seth MacFarlane. No. H. John Benjamin. No. Seth Green. No. Trey from Matt and Trey. No. The show is The Simpsons. Harry Shear. No. Oh, God. Bob. Uh, what character is it? it? It's Hank Azaria. That's who the fuck it is, you idiots. Hank Azaria. <laughs> okay, I want this team to look at themselves yeah. and say... We could have worked as a team. Yeah. We could have been problem solving this together yeah. instead of all over the goddamn place. Well, I got this intern giving me crap, so he's on my S list. Oh, no. Can't he, curse. he got that Gandafini joke on you. Oh, please. That everybody loved. I didn't see him making any guesses. He didn't know what the hell was going on. Larry David. <laughs> Jewish. <laughs> Wrong TV. Show. I, by the way, I also didn't know. Who knows? I, Who knows? Uh, Stallone's ripped. He's like 60. Stallone's older than that. Um, by the way, I, I don't know if Hank Azaria is Jewish, but I thought it was an odd question. And almost borderline racist, as borderline far as I'm... total racist. Racist Thank or you. racial. Thank you, because I thought it felt good about going with that angle, that it was racist. <laughs> uh, Andy in Boston, you're on the Run Fez show. Hey, I gotta tell you, Shelby, uh, my son loves you in uh, Yo Gabba Gabba. You okay, play we're not gonna get off that, okay. Shelby. <laughs> You know how you've had these comedy dreams, radio dreams? They're dead now. Yeah, they're dead in the water. You should start thinking accounting. 
or uh, moving uh, kind of papers from one side of the building to the other. Crab fishermen. Interesting. Even though the crabs are really a lot less of them than we've ever had. Yeah, they're still they're still banging up up there. Okay. I watched Elliot's catch. Um, Pat, go ahead, buddy. Hey, Ronnie B. Um, you know, amongst the in- new interns, it's an honor to be called the kid. So how about we nominate Shelby to be called the kid? Well, you have to get to the honor before you're the kid. you got to become the kid. Right now, these guys are way too fresh, way too green. The way it is with interns. By the way, we're going to have another intern tomorrow, mm-hmm. Molly. And that's just from the amount of drugs that she's taken. She's rolling. Constantly. Her real name is Elizabeth. She, but her friends just call her Molly because she's either on it or she has it. You have to fail drug test to be an intern here. And like these two ham and eggers, she lives in Tribeca. Really hip. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is off beat. First of all, before we get to oh. that, Anthony's got a moral uh, conundrum. Okay. Go ahead, Anthony. What do you got? Hey guys, this is my moral conundrum. Uh, oh, I got Game no. Seven of the Hawks tonight. It's a moral and, uh, conundrum. Conundrum. Game Seven with the Blackhawks. That doesn't sound like a moral conundrum. Sounds no, like a good time but, out. <laughs> yeah, except my girl stayed. Got to stay in the hospital overnight with a, just a minor little asthma thing, and she doesn't get the Hawks. They channel the Hawks around tonight. All right, so she's in the hospital, and you're going to go to the game. I got. I know. I just want to watch the game on TV, but her TV in her room doesn't get the game. Oh, um, I think you just got to explain it to her. I think you got to watch the game. Just, just say whatever. I'm yeah, she's not being. Hours. You know, just go there and be there for hours before. All right. I guess so. I was there till two in the morning last night. Anyway, you can't watch it on your phone. I don't think so. I don't want to watch it on a three-inch screen. I explained that. <laughs> Wait, come on. He's our boss. You guys just explain to her then. Look, I love you, but I don't want to watch the game on a fucking phone. <laughs> I think that's a nice way of putting it. There's no way to live. Watch things on phone. Here's the other thing with Shelby, because you're coming yeah. in, you're like a little light, and you're afraid of Hicks right uh-huh. now. You need a brick wall, my friend. That's what you're used to working in front of. And this is glass, and it's a little too open. We might want to get some kind of brick kind of wall or even if you get construction paper and mid and just tape that up behind him. Okay. So at all times. Like one of those ba- like a banner but just brick wall. Oh. I think he's going to feel more at home. All right. We're going to work on that. And then also ask everybody if they're having a good time and to keep it going for the comedian before you and where is everybody from? Right. For some reason a fucking comics just feel this need to find out where people are from. It's nice to know if you're out of town. Yeah. They're not from the place you're at currently. Where are you from? Because I'm going to make you feel bad about that. <laughs> Story Queens. <laughs> um, so tell us more about your Pornhub that you got here. All right. So it's offbeater.com. And I went through looking through some of the things they funded money for. And uh, this is gets weird, to be honest. Uh, one, the first thing I found was one of the, um, the, the projects that got funded that, that made their money. This guy, uh, it's called Ferroticon, the sexy card game. It's a furry card game. They've got $40,000 made to put it online. Now, the furries are, are they gay guys? No, they're straight. They just wear suits, uh, look like animals, and then, I guess, have sex with each other. I guess that you can be gay. It can go either way. But they just love animals, sexualized, banging each other. And are girls are into this or just guys? Girls are into it as well. See, I've never met a uh, a girl who said, I'm into being a furry. Matter of fact, if I'm going to be honest, I don't think I've ever met a guy who said it. There's a this is almost <laughs> myth to me. <laughs> they they made $40,000 to make this thing an online version of this card game. So they, there's furries out there with cash. Now, with the... <laughs> now, they are holding a, a furry penis. Now, do you have to say when you're a furry... Would you put on the suit, or they both put on the suits? They both put on the suits. <laughs> huh. And um, then you make make believe that you're banging a, a rabbit. Yeah, or a wolf, or like a sexy fox of some sort. It's like an entourage. You ever see that episode? The show? Uh, well, I did see the show, but I don't remember the furry episode. Uh, it's not. I thought I saw one on um, what's the one that they shot in Brooklyn. 
girls? Bored to death. Bored to death. They did a furry episode. But I thought it was just comedic. I didn't know it actually existed. It in the exists. World. It's the butt of many internet jokes. And these furries are all over Off Beater. They just they're trying to get money to make more furry porn because the mainstream porn places like your Vivids, your Digital Undergrounds, your Red Tube. Those that's a fucking great band. The porn company. Mm. I know I've seen like a furry convention. Like they all just dress up and just like walk around. That's like a, a zoo, zone. son. You went to a zoo. <laughs> Stop fucking jerking off at the zoo and feel like it's okay. <laughs> you made a giant mistake. You can use that in your act if you want to. I really want to do this thing with a fake brick wall and a microphone, and then we take him out on the on the street and let him bring his street to the people. All right. Give us your opening fucking bit when you're on stage. Well, uh. I know you, Shelby, it's definitely like a girl's name. Like, there's no, I'm not fronting about that at all. But, uh, like, I asked my mom recently, you know, like, what, what is it? Like, why did you name me that? And, uh, she did not give me an answer, uh, I wanted to hear. Apparently I was named after Julia Roberts' character in, uh, Steel Magnolias. Not what I wanted to hear at all. And, uh, you know, like, I, I, I asked, like, you know, you know that is a girl's name. Well, like you said, yeah, but you know, it's mainly for boys. But you got the name from a girl character. Like you don't, you don't see the connection there. Like, and then I, I, I'll be honest, I backhanded it like right there. But and she did that thing, and like, you know, like those action movies, someone gets backhanded, but they like leave their head to the side, like they knew, like they kind of deserved it. And then, you know, first of all, let me just say this. I love stand up without punchlines because it keeps everybody guessing. Is this it? Is this it? Yeah. And it isn't. That's great. I'm loving this idea of taking it to the street, Six. All right. Let's I want go. you to get together with the art department and start working on this immediately. Get some you open with that every show, the Shelby thing? Like a stand up bit, you mean? Yeah. Like every show, you're like, hey, I got to open up with my Shelby name bit. Oh, not like every... I think it's a mistake. I think it belongs out there every night.